Hi, I'm Dr. Tala, a board certified neonatologist. Let's do torch infections in two minutes. Torch is an acronym. So T stands for toxoplasmosis. O stands for other, which basically is a group has grown and grown to include loads of different bugs, including syphilis, varicella, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, Chagas disease, parvovirus, enterovirus, and Zika virus. R of the torch stands for rubella, C stands for CMV, and H stands for herpes simplex virus. There are seven things that you need to know about torch infections. One, they are a group of infections, mostly viral, that affect the fetus and the newborn. Two, before birth, the infection is transmitted through the placenta. Or if the baby gets infected after birth, then the infection is transmitted through vaginal secretions, blood or breast milk. Three, mothers may not have any symptoms of these diseases and babies might still get really sick. So four, you always have to be very aware of these diseases. Make sure that you get a good maternal history or screen for them, otherwise they're going to be missed. Five, the symptoms can present prenatally, at birth, or way after birth. So it's possible that before and during birth, the baby has no symptoms at all. Six, they are preventable because they're infectious diseases. So either we have to stop the mother from getting the disease, or if the mother has it, we have to stop the baby from getting it from the mother, like congenital HIV, for example. Seven, each bug is different. So obviously we have different tests for each bug. So you have to know which blood test or whatever lab to send. And then you have to know which antibiotic or antiviral you need to actually treat the baby and for how long. Now go watch the full length version. Thanks for being here.